Hello beautiful souls, I'm Tara Green. This week I've been staying at the oldest intentional community in Oregon called Alpha Farm in Deadwood, Oregon, 22 miles from the ocean and also towards Eugene. Here is the garden. There are these rainbow shaped beds that we've been working in this week, pre preparing them for winter, planting a cover crop, clover to add nitrogen and build the soil. Back there is an orchard. There are several apple trees. Apparently the bears like to live in there. We've been working on all sorts of garden beds this week. And there are all of these structures for peas and things to climb on. So this place has a lot of potential for growing food. There are more trees, apple tree back here. Um, and there's a greenhouse back here. greenhouse is built mostly out of recycled windows. It has a solid wall on the back that's also a storage shed and then there's plastics on the sides and uh, there's a wood stove in the inside for heating it in the early spring to start the seeds. There's also this heat heated warming structure that I'm not really sure its purpose. So at Alpha Farm there's a population of about 15 people right now and as most communities that I've heard there's about a five year turnover rate on average for new people to come in and most of the new people here have been here one year or less. Ages ranging from a lot of 19 and early 20s to a couple in their 40s and the oldest member who has been at this community from day one who is 91 years old. So there are lots of little structures people live in, like converted buses, airstreams, RVs. There are some unique structures built for personal homes as well, uh, across a creek and spread out throughout the little land. And then in the big farmhouses, there's lots of rooms that people stay in, and that's where the big community kitchen is and where all shared meals and meetings take place. multiple large buildings because there's a second one that has an office and other rooms. Yeah, it's been really cool staying here. It's been going on for almost 50 years. They got all their water from Runoff Creek. It's been really nice to drink. It's really, uh, the air is really wet, really nice to inhale. It's a really beautiful place. I'm certainly happy for the experience to go inside of a community and check it out, get that on the ground experience. Mm -hmm. There's a fire pit and circle out here, which after the days of work at Alpha Farm will often sit around the fire. And this community is very community commune-like as where some are more individualist. This community shares most of their resources, so everyone works here on the farm and just does what needs to be do done. After a hard day's work, they all share dinner together. Dinners happen Monday through Friday, every night of the week, and usually it's a high attendance. Almost the entire population is here, unless somebody is off doing something else. This is one of the shared resource aspects of the community. There's a shop with lots of tools for working on vehicles. And this has been very helpful to us because our tire went flat. Oh, there are chickens at this community and dogs and cats.
here's a look down the driveway next to two of the big old farm buildings. Clothesline for drying clothes, lots of little bridges and pathways that go off into the forest here with other housing. Got a little music room in here, in progress. Piano needs some tuning. The dining room table where everyone eats. Special visiting this intentional community in Oregon, it being the oldest one, very resilient. It's been around for about 50 years. It has a very family-like feel here. Farm, farmhouse community. Everyone sits together at dinner like a family. More of a family style as opposed to some communities that I've been to that are more businessy or organized in a more professional manner, not that this is not professional, it just doesn't, that's not fitting, it's more organic and free-flowing. There's a lot of freedom here in comparison to, to other communities that I've visited, but of course there are agreements here like with any where certain things are rules, like no guns. And other communities do agree upon having things like weapons. Whereas this one does not. So that's the thing that stood out. There aren't really any designated smoking areas. As long as you're outside, then smoking is, seems to be okay. Familiar about coming to community for me. No matter where it is, there's some sort of vibe where the togetherness and support of people coming together with a similar intention, coming to live together to co-create, they are aligned on at least some visions and here it's it's a they're like a family that's that's their intention they're also they intend on living this farm lifestyle where they're supporting themselves off the land so that's one of the common goals so as long as there's people who are able-bodied living here then they should be able to succeed at, at collaborating together to grow their food there's an abundance of water at this community. It rains a lot here in Oregon and there's a creek that just flows and flows and they get to drink the water from there. I do see that there are some clear cuts in the area which means that there is pesticide spraying going on so I wouldn't doubt that there are some sort of pesticides in the water unfortunately. Um, the, the community shares meals here. That's one of the communal aspects. They pool all of their resources and then they shop together and get food. And the food here is a little bit different than other communities in that it's lower quality. Um, when they're getting things from their garden, it's of course very high quality, but, but within the recent years they haven't been able to grow all of their food. So they're purchasing a lot and it's conventional produce that I actually have had an allergic reaction since I've been here. I'm not really sure what it's to, if it's the, the produce or whatnot, but I have these bumps all over my hands and also over my feet. So, but there are some things that were really great um, for my allergies and sensitivities here. They don't allow fragrances or toxic chemicals that, yeah, that I'm often reactive to. So laundry detergents and things, they, they keep a really natural one here. So, thanks for joining us on our experience at Be Stay Wild and Free.